Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, today is part two of my Paint Some Way unboxing video. I uh, bought several cross stitch kits and a diamond painting kit, so I decided to show them to you and do it in separate videos so it wouldn't be too long. <clears throat> this is not a collaboration. I bought these with my own money. I just wanted to try out Paint Some Way products because I heard so much about them and so far they look like they're going to be pretty good. I'm sorry my cat hair and my hair is on everything. Alright so today I'm going to show you two bookmark kits I got and then um, I got a free blind box with a over $30 purchase so this was the kit they sent me so I will show you this free kit first. comes with one of the little tool kits that most of these sites send. Looks like it has five needles and a poof ball, a adjustable thimble, sorry, and a needle threader. What's that like a yak? Anyway. <laughs> She has instructions for cross stitch on the chart. Shows you how to, you know, <clears throat> divide the thread, choose the threads you need depending on the count of the fabric, and you know, just the basic instructions for anybody that's never done a cross stitch before. How to clean them, maintain them. Pretty good sized picture. She's not exactly what I would have chose for myself, but it's really pretty. It's just, it's, um, I don't know how to, not childish exactly. It's just more basic than the ones I, I like. I like a lot of variety and it looks like this will have a lot of color blocking in it, which will make it a quick stitch, but not necessarily an interesting one. But let's look at the pattern because I could be totally wrong because I hadn't opened this up, so. It's a 30 by 43. It's a little bit bigger than I expected. Which has 34 collars. And yeah, like I said, there's gonna be some good color blocking. It looks like there's some variety in there. Ooh, I'm already seeing an issue on the, the paper pattern anyway, where there's a lot of smearing and some color transfer. Usually I don't have to look at the pattern, but we will see some on her face. Looks like maybe this. Yeah, so it looks like the black was transferring. It was still wet when it was folded or something. Other than that, it's printed clearly. Definitely easy to read. I think I will stitch this one. I was tempted just to keep the colors for something else, but I might put her away and take her out one day when I just want something with a lot of color blocking, something just fast. She might meet the criteria of one of like the acrostics or one of the challenges I like to join. Printing's pretty clear. Looks like everything is in its correct square. I can see a couple little areas that I might get confused if I'm not looking closely like the diagonals. Excuse my gnarly looking nails. I haven't painted them for a while. They keep breaking off. Um, the little diagonal slashes along with the X's and stuff. I could see getting confused. 
As long as I'm watching closely, I shouldn't. I just tend to get kind of in a zone when I'm stitching and end up stitching things I'm not supposed to stitch. See how the X's and the slashes are near each other? I could easily get those confused. And maybe even the blue circles, little dots. I mean, not circles. We'll see. She's not anything I'm going to work on anytime soon. But she's not a bad choice for a free one. She's quite pretty. She makes me think of Pocahontas. Just the hair's different. But that's what kind of makes me think of like a Disney cartoon image. She's really pretty. Tell me if you think it's Pocahontas. Anyway, let's look at threads. I do like how everything had the sticker, so I know what those are for. Comes with one hank of number 40, which is 310. Oh, 40. I guess it's like how many strands or something. Because, like, there's not 40 colors in here. Now it's number two. So it's a lot of the background and her hair. So a lot of 310. As I said, kind of tempted to keep this floss. But she is really pretty. I don't know. I will decide at some other point in time. Floss feels nice. It's not, not rough or stiff. I've had some kits where some of the floss feels really soft and silky and some feels like really stiff and kind of gross. <laughs> this one feels nice. Alright, here, if I can get them untangled. Here we go. Here is 1 through 18. I'm sorry, my lighting is so bad. I tried turning off the overhead light so it wouldn't be too bright and not be able to see, and now it's too dark. Reds and greens and browns and some pinks. Purple. Really pretty. Okay. And then here is 19 through 34. Some kind of rust oranges and dark blue, greens, really pale, peachy, more blues, more purple, really pale, I'm not even sure what you would call that, cream. Like I said, it's pretty colors. It's just not my normal kind of image. Let me see. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> um, I found the same image on their site. It says Disney Princess. Um, the diamond painting is the one I found. I couldn't find the cross stitch, but it does say Disney Princess. The diamond painting of this is 30 by 50 and $7.99. I guess that's about all I got to say about this one. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing her on the site. So if you like this image, then maybe try the diamond painting. I'll, I'll keep looking. And see if maybe I can look up the code or something to see if she'll pop up. And if so, I'll put a link to her in the description box. But let's get on to my two bookmark kits.
As you can tell, they're both Harry Potter inspired. They're both listed as $3.99 and I got them for $3.19 with the discount. Guardian Leviosa. I've really been enjoying the bookmark kits I've been getting from these budget-friendly sites. Couldn't think of a good term. Um, they come on this like vinyl, I'm not even sure what you call it, material. And it's actually really easy to stitch on. And I feel like the stitch definition is pretty good. Kit usually comes with some kind of pin that I don't ever use because I'm afraid that the collar will not come off. Usually comes with a tassel because what bookmark is complete without a pretty tassel? This comes with two needles. They're really long needles. They make me think of beading needles because they're really thin sharp and long with little eyes and then the plus they are counted it's one of the few things I get lately that's not stamped Oops. the pattern is on the back don't want to show it too long because you know copyright and stuff I guess um five colors and then full stitch and it says edge so I guess you know going around the edge and here's the colors it's not a whole lot of floss but it's not a whole lot of stitching either man it's just my lamp is not showing off the colors good really just dark in here but if I have my overhead light on then it's it's like it has a really big glare but yeah just a really dark I guess a black and then three pretty blues <clears throat> and then a white or an off-white soft good lengths plenty to do both sides because you'll just stitch the same design on each side and then you just whip stitch it around attach tassel you have pretty bookmarks kind of big compared to what I usually use for bookmarks but for me it's I just want to stitch them not too worried about actually using it. Oh, you put it on the bottom. Not too worried about actually using it for a bookmark. I might, or I might just hang them up once I'm done. I have a shelf full of Harry Potter books. That one was just called Feather. So if you look up, 14 count. I forgot to tell you the one kit is 11 count. These are both 14 count. These are both counted. This one was Feather. $3.99 with my discount I paid $3.19. And then the other one is called Train. Also 14 count counted. This one comes with a blue pen. Another tassel. They're so silky and shiny. So soft. Two needles. See, I mean, they're really long and thin. I end up putting these to the side and using my shorter needles for the stitching. These look, let me look, 
Yeah, these are quite a bit smaller and whiter, or a lighter color. I don't know about whiter, but lighter than the ones that came with the other kit. I don't know if you can see the difference in the colors, but these are smaller. They're both the same vinyl, or whatever they are. Let's see, 30 by 104 stitches, and the feather is 30 by 104. So I have no idea why these are so much smaller, narrower, but they should be fine. If not, I can contact them and say they didn't give me wide enough bookmarks. Five colors. And then two for around the edge. Got black, two reds, this yellowy gold color, and then this off-white kind of cream color. Should be plenty. So far I haven't had a kit where I ran out of floss. Of course, if you've watched any of my videos or follow me on any social media, you know I don't actually complete many kits. I have so many going. I like to constantly switch up what I'm working on. But yeah, this one was called Train. This one was called Feather. You can find them under bookmarks on Paint Some Way site. They come with everything you need to make these cute bookmarks. So those are the three kits I'm going to show you in this video. These two I bought. This was my free blind box I got for spinning over a certain amount. I said 11 count. 11 count. 30 by 43. Still not sure or when I'm going to do this one. But thank you so much and stay tuned for part three of my Paint Some Way haul unboxing. See you next time.